I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll find out what's coming up for you, for the two of you. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Taurus, the recent past energy, we got the Five of Wands, and it's with the Emperor. Now, the Five of Wands can refer to competition. Usually, this can be career or work or family romance, but sometimes it can refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but you'll have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could also be thinking of making a career change when you get the Five of Wands in a reading. Just know that you can be successful if so. Now, it's with the Emperor, which shows domination over the mind, over the heart. is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcomed, and that's what you must think about when the Emperor appears in a reading. Because when hard choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you should find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that this self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So I know some of you are saying, so what does that mean? Well, that means that the emperor is the type of person that only uses, the emperor only uses his head and not his heart. So it's easy or easier to make hard choices. So, Taurus, what I'm picking up on for a lot of you with this Five of Wands clarified by the Emperor is that um, you were dealing with someone um, who, bought, who, um, who brought a lot of competition into the mix. You probably felt like you always had to struggle for dominance or just struggle to, to stay on top of the connection. Yeah. So your person could have been pursued by several people or they were pursuing several people. And you, you, you always found out about it or you knew about it. And it just made, made you feel like um, you, you were in a competition. Yeah, so with the Emperor here, it's showing that you you decided to shut down your person. Because like I said, the Emperor is a very, very cold energy. He doesn't open his heart to anyone. So you shut down and you became really cold towards your person. Yeah, you, you no longer opened your heart up to this person. Yeah, because if you look at the Five of Wands, it's the card above the word pass. I'm getting the impression that um, you were probably offended also because your person um, brought a lot of competition, romantic rivals into the mix, and they enjoyed the way it made you feel. It's, it's not like they... It's, it seemed like your person was proud of it. And... They got a kick out of having you feel some kind of way. And I say this because I'm looking at the picture of it, of this Five of Wands, the card above the word pass. They're 
four, there are five men there, but four of them are fighting each other. And then you got this one person off to the left, and that's your person just standing there grinning. So your person um, actually needed this type of unhealthy mix um, because it, f it fed your person's ego. But it made you feel like you had to struggle just for dominance or to stay with this person. And you didn't, you did not enjoy it, but your person did. Yeah, so they kind of like got a kick out of how it made you feel. But you went cold on this person. Yeah, you no longer offered your heart to them. Yeah, you didn't want to feed their ego like, like this anymore. Yeah, and that's what they needed. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Knight of Swords. And it's with a Fool card. Now, the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful type of energy. It can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it does point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing because the Knight of Swords actually goes after their heart's desire. Yeah, so it's with the Fool card. Now the Fool card is an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates purity, the open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting. And trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. So this is actually a positive card in the tarot. Yeah, very positive. But um, by looking at the picture... You can see that it's going to be important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. As you can see, that's what he's doing. That's all blue water below him. Looks like the Pacific Ocean. So yeah, he's ready to take a leap of faith. But in this deck, he's not really watching where he's going, so I guess that's just a little side tip or a side note for some of you. Maybe somebody needs to hear it. That's why they um, put it in, in the picture like that. But anyway, anyways, coming up towards Knight of Swords Clarified by the Fool. Yeah, so, um, for a lot of you, Taurus, this person that, um, well, put it this way, like I said, you, you, you shut down on your person, you went cold, you didn't appreciate uh, all this competition that they brought to the mix. So coming up, it looks like you could be looking for a new beginning. The full car can be about new beginnings and just ready to just jump right into something new and fresh and just ready to go for a, a new day. Take a leap of faith towards something or something else. Um, you're ready. You're ready to just go. But here comes your person. Yeah. This person that, that, um, needs to have their ego boost. By having people fight for for him, and um, here they come. That's that's your person rushing in. The Knight of Swords. They're rushing in. Um, they're planning to take action towards you, Taurus. Um, the Knight of Swords can be a message bearer. 
So this person wants to talk to you. Yeah, they could also be trying to sweep you off your feet. So they're trying to get back in your good graces. They see that you're ready to go. And you're ready to go in the opposite direction of them. So here they come. So be prepared. This person will probably be trying to sweet talk you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got this King of Wands. And it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now the King of Wands can actually indicate a man or a person um, who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is actually really positive. Even when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it signifies that you could have men around you who are supportive of you and they think well of you. So you should be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now, it's with this Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very, very good energy. Um, it's about stability. And if you're single, this card, it indicates that you you could be ready for a serious relationship. And you may soon find someone who's ready to provide you with the security and support that you want and need. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is a good indicator of a solid, stable, committed relationship. Yeah, this person will be very practical, patient, protective. Yeah, it's like your knight in shine, shining armor. Knight in shining armor is the knight of pentacles. Yeah, very loyal and faithful. So I said it's a very good energy. Knight of pentacles, um, their money is really good also with the knight of pentacles. Um, yeah. This, this Knight of Pentacles is a type that focuses on attaining a comfortable lifestyle and works hard to achieve this. Yeah, they, they make sure their money is right. But anyway, um, Taurus, yeah, what I'm picking up for this challenge with the King of Wands clarified by this Knight of Pentacles is that, like I said, you're ready to take a leap of faith towards something new. You've already went cold on this person who made you struggle for dominance in the connection. Made you feel like you had to fight just to s stay with them or to be with them. Uh, yeah, it looks like you got a couple of got a couple of options here. King of Wands. So there's so this King of Wands can be someone new. Or maybe someone that you already know. This person is coming towards you. And you also got the Knight of Pen Pentacles coming towards you. A couple of really, really good energies. So you're going to have to decide. Or maybe you'll, I don't know, I'm looking at the Two of Pentacles for the outcome. You might just go back and forth. The King of Wands, this person will um, have caring and protective feelings towards you and the connection. And this Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very, like I said, stable, loyal, committed. And their money is really good. So you've got a couple of pretty good options coming up. And I guess that's why you're ready to take a leap of faith. Yeah. So maybe you already know about these two people. Yeah, it looks like that's the direction you're heading you're heading. Yeah, so a couple of great choices coming in. These two people will um like I said, the King of Wands, um, somebody that cares a lot about you and wants to protect you. So I'm getting this one that this one you probably already know. Yeah. Probably already know this King of Wands, but Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Two of Pentacles. 
and it's with this strength card. Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind, so you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend at this time. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So make sure you're paying attention there. That is with the strength card. With the strength card, it's going to be important for you to make time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone. Even if you're in a committed relationship, and you have 19 kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. The outward things will be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight at this time. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer your fears, control your impulses, never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So Taurus, the outcome, Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Strength card. Yeah, so like I said, it looks like you got a lot going on coming up. A whole lot. It looks like you're going to try to juggle both of them. Yeah. Looks like you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah, that's what the Two of Pentacles is indicating. Yeah, you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be trying to go between the king and between the knight. And then working here and then cleaning up there and then trying to take care of yourself like a strength card. The strength card is about self-love, unconditional love, self-respect. So you're still in a building up phase. For some of you. Because a strength card can be about building yourself up. And it probably has a lot to do with this past relationship that you were in when you went cold on your person. And it looks like you got out of that. But you're still in the building up phase. So you're trying to, like I said, practice self-love, unconditional love. So you're doing a lot for this outcome. You're working on you. You're trying to be the best that you can be. And then you've got these, these two great energies that are after you. So yeah, it's just the outcome is showing that you're really busy. Very busy. You'll be juggling. Yeah. For some of you, one of these people could be living long distance. You're just going to be like all over the place, Taurus. But this is this could be good for some of you staying busy. Because it looks like you just got out of something that was not very healthy for you. Yeah. And you had to go cold on this person. So, Taurus, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Taurus reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind... If you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other people, well, in this case, the other persons could be a friend or friends, could be family members, 
co-workers or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. And also, uh, don't forget the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. Yeah, so Taurus, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.